Francisco, and they're also investigating another devastating plane crash at the same time. This one that you're looking at happened Sunday at a small airport in Alaska. The plane involved much smaller than the jumbo jet in the San Francisco accident, but the results even deadlier. All 10 on board killed. Renee Marsh is live in our Washington bureau with details. Renee, what do we know about this crash? Well, Chris, first off, I should tell you the NTSB, the GO team, is scheduled to be heading there in really just a matter of minutes. The scheduled takeoff time for the GO team is 6.15, and they're en route to that crash site that you see there on the screen. At this point, it is too early to know officially what caused the uh, plane's crash here, and also the plane went up in flames, so we don't know exactly what caused all of this. Uh, but what we do know is that this was an air taxi, and when it comes to FAA regulations, it comes just under commercial planes. Now, commercial airliners, they're heavily regulated, uh, so this would be considered a middle tier. Again, we're expecting a briefing from NTSB when they get on the ground. Chris? All right, thank you very much, Renee. You know, all these crashes happening right now makes it seem so scary, but remember, you have a one in 45 million chance, okay? One out of 45 million of being in a plane crash. Being struck by lightning, one out of 750,000. So mm -hmm. it's still a very safe way to fly, but